Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Mr. Not So Good, and today we are going to be building and setting up this car for race car stuff. If you do like what you see, the best way to support my channel is by subscribing. That would mean a lot to me. But let's just get right on with the video, and we're going to get a solid baseline for this one right here. And we do not have a clutch pedal noted. Oh, we can shoot that guy. We can get in front of this guy. So let's just drive it hard. There's going to be one corner in particular we're going to be paying a lot of attention to. I already got into a collision. Hopefully it doesn't affect my alignment. It's whatever. This is just a baseline. We're just going to see how it handles this corner up here. Not this one. And we're going to take note of our speed at which we take it at. Zooming up through here, dodging all the traffic. All right, we're entering this bend, going roughly 140, absolutely floored and turned. Absolutely no oversteer. We still have a very balanced car. Here we're coming up to a, even a, a higher speed bend. We're going to be taking this at approximately 155 and still no oversteer. The car is pretty, oh, well, now it's now it's not pretty straight. We're just going to crash it right into this building right here. That little curb did a lot of damage. Holy goodness gracious. Let's go ahead and take this back to the pits, put a whole bunch of modifications on it, come back, and we are going to set it up and tune it. And hopefully it handles better than what it was just handling. Now, I'm just gonna cut to where I have everything installed and then we're gonna re review everything I just did over here on this section just for the sake of time. For example, if I was to say we got rear brake discs, I obviously mean we got them for front and the rear. So now that we have clarified that, let's move on. So I got race disc brakes, ra full race pads, I got the NAMI GTRX front splitter, that's going to make us a really oversteer happy, but I want it set up like that and I want to tune out all the oversteer mechanically and then put the big wing on it so I know we're making all the mechanical grip plus all the downforce, which is make this an uh, absolute monster. We got all the race differentials, we removed the sunroof, we added a roll cage, we did the front race driver seat. Of course, it's green. We have a skid plate installed, strut bars, quick ratio steering, the NAMI 307 racing steering wheel, because you can't have a race car without a race steering wheel, obviously. And now we got the carbon fiber lip for the side skirts as well. We got the stage 2 performance engine blocks, ultra heavy duty engine mounts, race exhaust, ultra high performance radiator. Uh, tires, the tire size we're running, we're running the 18 by 9 uh we are running the 18 by 9 folk et73 wheels right the white ones and we had the turbo rabbit fender flares as well as the carbon fiber scooped hood and that sums up our entire build we also have the race sequential transmission and all the adjustable tranny stuff that is available for this car and that puts us at 72 uh, basically $73,000 with the modifications. Cha-chang! Now we're going to go out and get a baseline with this current setup. So we're coming up on our, our corner of test. Let's go ahead and do a turn. As I suspected, we are really oversteery, but we're going to tune that out with mechanical grip. And that was an aggressive test. And clearly we're going to be making a lot more power, so this test isn't precisely accurate. But we're going to turn here. Yeah, we have the oversteer, but it's not really negative oversteer. I kind of like how that felt as we just smashed it into the wall. Let's go ahead and go back to the workshop and do some more tweaking and tuning. Let's go ahead. I, I, I might be cheating. I already set up another one of these videos, scrapped it because I felt like it wasn't the best information out there. So I do know that if we do go high on this RPM range, we're going to be maxing out our we're gonna be essentially overheating the car and that's not really the best I'll be honest we don't want to overheat the car it's not good for racing now as far as our wheel fitment I do like our current fitment actually the rear can come out a little bit which I'm going to do a bit more offset in the rear to give us more of that mechanical grip which is what we're also looking for right now how does that do for fitment that fitment still tad bit sunk but that's okay for a race car tire pressure i'm not going to touch the, the tire pressure i'm going to leave all that default as far as the differentials we're not going to touch those as a last resort the, the, the differentials make a really big difference on the balance of the car and how all everything is applied like that's going to change and we do aero as well 
And as far as the rear suspension, I'm not going to touch this yet. I don't think I need to. Alignment. This is where I do know I need to touch. Now, toe address. We got a lot of toe in the rear. Then I think it's there for a reason. So we're going to leave it exactly where it is. We're going to add some camber. And we got a lot of positive camber, which is weird. But we're going to drag this all the way down to 45%. We're going to leave the front toe where it is. I do like the toe where it is. I know it's very controversial, but... In my experience, I prefer to have toe in on the front versus toe out and then tune my oversteer and with the brakes and the differential. That way I have all the advantages of having a setup that's towed in versus towed out. When you have it towed out, it does make the car more oversteery, but you're also trading the predictability for unpredictability. And in my book, I prefer my race cars to be as predictable and reliable as possible. So now we have that camber. Do I want to add a little more camber? I think I do. Let's go to 50% camber. I know that there's a mod that actually gives you proper tuning values, which I probably should install that mod, but I'm going to try and be doing this as close to vanilla as possible so you don't have to mod the crap out of your game to get a decent setup. There we go. Let's go ahead and apply that, which I just did, and we're going to give this a dry run. All of my, my fitment's a little sunk, but don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I'm not going to allow that bad fitment to stay for the whole video. Now, hopefully, if everything was done right, it should be less oversteering. Oh, crap. No, well, well we got to restart this test oh the back end just tried to step out on me all right it is not any better at all if we still got more oversteer than what we previously had but that's a trade-off because you might just be making more grip so let me go make some changes and we're gonna try and tune that out all right so I noticed we're getting a lot more stepping out and I did change something in the rear alignment and that was the camber so let's put the camber back to exactly where it was previously before I came in and messed everything up I pretty much just softened everything in, in the rear end and hopefully that's gonna negate some of our oversteer because the suspension is going to absorb more of what's going on back there and I'm going to go ahead and do the ride height in the front. And we're going to actually, yeah, let's just change the front ride height. And let's lower it down. And let's give this some positive rake. All right, now we have a little bit of positive rake. So that should also give us some handling dynamics. And we're going to go into the rear offset. And we're going to up the rear offset by 10 millimeters. And the front, we're going to go up 10 as well. I think we do have a little bit of suspension damage, but I should be able to get a rough baseline on what the rear end's doing still. And it did help. It is there is a little bit more grip there. So we're going the right direction. That is for sure. We are already out of gear. I need to increase the gear. Uh-oh. That is not good. Not good at all. Oh look, there's my mirror. Or someone's mirror. It's probably his mirror. All right, rear track width. I guess we're just gonna max it out. I'm, I'm just, I'm just tired of that fitment. I can't do it. I can't do that fitment, man. It's not okay. That put us a lot closer to where I want to be. We're almost flush. In the front, we're almost flush as well. I guess we're gonna have to max out the front. And I want to try messing with the rear differential. This coast rate. We're gonna increase the coast rate and decrease the power rate this whenever i get off throttle the car should rotate less and whenever i get on power it should rotate even less even more okay that did help that uh, that was a really huge help those changes i made were the right changes we are getting a little bit of a frame dip so i'm also going to turn down the graphic settings in the next clip so I just played with the diff settings. I made it more front wheel drive bias. I increased the center lock coast rate to try and demote oversteer because we're getting too much oversteer on the fast sweepers. And I also lowered the preload for the rear as well. Now for the brakes, uh, let's keep actually the brake bias where it is, but let's take 10% off the top of the braking pressure because I am a controller player and that helps me a lot on the controller. Caster addressed. I want a little touch more caster. Let's just do that much caster. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, final drive gear ratio. We want a slightly longer gear, so we're going to reduce this to 3.85. Rear final drive. Race adjustable rear final drive. And then now we're going to take some parts off the car. And this is oh, a horrible list. This is not optimized at all. Oh, it looks like we have a NAMI GT, uh, a GTT wing. We're going to go ahead and install that since I already have it. 
Right headlight, put into inventory, don't need that. Left headlight, put that also into inventory. Uh, electronic stability and traction control, go ahead and take that off. We're going to be taking off the anti-lock braking system. Nav unit, go ahead and take that off, put it in, in, into inventory. Rear seats, they're already in the inventory. Gray interior, can't take that off. Unibody, nope, we don't want to take that off. So this is all door glass. I guess I want to keep the door glass. Race pan, oil pan. Alright, I think that's everything. I didn't quite get to remove. I couldn't find the rear door panels. I got all the seats out of there. Yeah, there's only one door panel I'm, I'm missing. But let's go ahead and try this current setup, what I've changed already. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Did you see that? Oh, the rear end's so unstable. It bothers me. I am... I'm just going to go quiet. I'm going to pause the recording session, and then I'm just going to spend freaking four hours uh, trying to figure out what the heck I need to do to get this to have grip so I can give you all reliable information. The car is getting a lot more dialed. It feels a lot more consistent. I'll probably have another hour tuning into just the rear end to get it to drive like this, which still isn't even perfect. Like, I, like I, I'm at a loss. I, I don't know what else to do except add downforce, which would probably make a lot of sense considering I have a lot of downforce in the front, so oversteer problems is going to be inherent. But I'm about to show you all these suspension settings I did. When you're trying to tune out oversteer with the rear end, you want to soften everything up. You don't want to tighten it up. The softer it is, the more of the suspension absorbs the rotation, but then again it's a double-edged sword because then you're going to have so much rotation on the suspension it's going to be loaded up and you're going to get snap over steer like crazy. And I'll be honest, I've been at this for two hours on just the rear end and I've barely figured it out how to do this and it, it's I think my problem is I'm just don't have enough downforce back there because this guy gives me a lot of heck in downforce so I'm going to add the big wing with these suspension settings and we're going to see if it is a truly a decent setup and I should have just started with the monster spoiler I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm doing my best to make sure that this information I'm giving you is accurate. But I doubt that anybody's going to be watching this far into the video. But maybe like maybe 10, 20 people. And to those 10 and 20 people, I have a Discord server I just started up. And the link will be in the description below. And y'all guys are more than welcome to join and, and tell me how wrong I was in making this video. Or if you have any suggestions or ideas, I'll be more than happy to talk to you and interact with anyone that feels like joining into my Discord. Alright, there we go. Now we have a monstrous rear wing. And hopefully this solves all of my freaking problems trying to get this thing to feel dialed and consistent. I still gotta remove that door panel. Don't judge me. Alright, let's see just how well she handles now. Oh, never mind. We gotta wait for traffic again. And then... You might be saying, just go to the racetrack. No, because traffic still spawns on the racetrack. So it doesn't even matter. All right, here we are. We are coming up on our first high speed bend. Whoa, it handles so much better. Holy crap. It was the downforce. I was literally maxed out on mechanical grip. Yeah, the rear end feels freaking phenomenal right now. Holy crap. I'm having absolutely no problems at all. This car's fixed. All I needed was just a big old wing. Look at that, it literally hugs around that corner beautifully. Yeah, yeah, I'm confident. Every, all the information in this video, I feel like is accurate and adequate information. I am a little flustered because I did spend a little too long figuring everything out. But we're going to send it. We are having, uh oh, uh oh, traffic. I noticed that we were getting pretty hot and we're maxed out on turbo and we're at our power goal so if i literally take away any rpm i will be dropping below my power goal so i think as far as the heat i've done everything in my power i removed the headlights i removed the fog lights i have the hood scooped and on this particular model variant you can't remove any of the grill options so as far as cooling we're maxed out on cooling and i don't want to change any bit of my power goals because when we have that much downforce you kind of need that much power. So I'm going to head back to the shop and I'm going to get a setup 
to run a race and we're gonna see just how well this is I'm super confident in the rear end all that time I put into tuning the rear end has paid off why can't you just put them grouped together why aren't they side by side what's going on why is this so frustrating why is it can't be simplified why is this whole why is everything in this UI just infuriating that makes you want to just freaking punch the computer screen or go punch one of the devs look at this left front door awesome why is it all the way up here why 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 can't why right rear door panel why is it why is it all the way at the top of the list why is it why 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 this doesn't make any sense what is this how they increase the freaking player time is just making the UIs impossible to navigate okay uh, that's enough this bit's over it's over moving on all right some of the last few polishing changes I want to make before I go race this Johnny is I'm just going to adjust the brake bias down to 69 percent so what we're missing and maybe take go to 85 percent right there yeah so we're making those changes for the brakes now that we're making a bunch of grip i'm also making some more changes i'm going to increase the power law crate in the rear and go ahead and go back up with the preload and back down with the coast rate put it back to a standard old setup front we're going to keep it how it is and for the center differential we're going to drag this back down to a little bit more all -world, like a little even bias the coast lock rate we're going to open that up some so that it rotates more off throttle now that we have buku's amount of downforce <laughs> So I increased the power lock rate and the preloads for just about all the front and rears just a little bit and I also took some camber out of the front alignment and that's pretty much the only changes I've just made to the car. Oh and I took out some rear toe which I'm going to take out even a little more because I feel like the, so all that toe is sapping all my rotation out the vehicle. Alright let's see just how well my car does sliding in a second gear into third excuse me piccolina i'm coming through here dude jesus oh nice an ai traffic car in the worst possible spot all right that was a rough start but it's okay we are way over tuned for this race like this is basically a full per percent professional race car against just normal street racers uh, hopefully I, I didn't take too much damage and i don't get flagged for having a damaged car because i would like not both these bonus stars oh uh, we're gonna break early move to the inside under braking and I think that's too much damage uh, hopefully not how's my alignment yeah my alignment took a hit watch I'm not gonna get the barely or slightly damaged reward oh, wait now we're still driving pretty straight I think I think we have a high chance of getting that reward oh this turns dangerous someone's gonna there's gonna be a big crash on that big downhill slope right there but we are already in first place. We just got to keep it com clean and composed, and we're going to get a really good finish. Oh, why is that guy right there? Someone's going to be bound to hit that guy. I know it. I know it. And I do apologize for the frame rate. I am limited on hardware. Before you complain about the frame rate, you should subscribe and support my YouTube channel so I can get nicer hardware to make better content for you guys. Beautiful on the brakes, perfect amount of rotation, exactly how I want the car to handle. I love how well set up this car is. This makes me happy. This makes me happy. And this part is sketchy. I'm going to back off and just take it easy. It's not worth crashing. And why is that the same exact guy in the same exact spot? Does the traffic only progress whenever I'm around? That's not fair. <laughs> Coming around through here, very clean, tidy, and composed. The exact same guy. What the heck? That guy is either fast or he's an alien. He got alien powers. Look, again, exact same guy. Let's see. Oh, we do have some suspension damage, but slamming the brakes on. Oh, boy. I missed a checkpoint. Oh, I lost my downforce. Oh my gosh. Well, we got the timestamp, but we did take damage, and so we didn't get the other bonus star, but that'll be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like my content, the best way to support me is to just subscribe to my YouTube channel. What's the harm?
Anyway, the same thing I said in the middle of, of the video about my Discord. It extends to anyone that even stayed this part. I'll be more than happy. I would love to interact with y'all. It's just come hang out with me. It would be awesome. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Please like the video so other people can discover me even more. That would be really cool. Anyway, goodbye. I love y'all.